What's going on guys? It's Bogey Drake here. I just want to say right off the bat that this is my first time I'm ever vlogging by myself. First time I ever used this camera pretty much by myself. First time I ever tried setting up a microphone by myself. So if things went wrong or go wrong, that's why. I'm a newbie. Uh, but you know, practice makes perfect. And yeah. So, uh, vlog number one. I mean, you do see a YouTube video before this one, but I had a whole film crew and, you know, a team to work with. But that's like the big videos. These are just the smaller videos I'm gonna be throwing out. Kind of being more myself, a little bit slower paced. Uh, this is more for me than for you guys. Um, yeah, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna be talking about today. Probably all the basics, the, the intro stuff to my channel. And I know I'm gonna be hitting a shoulder and chest day today, so watch for that in this in this YouTube video in this clip. Um, but yeah, this is all this is all new to me, so we'll see how it goes. We'll see where it goes, and see if you guys like what you watch. So uh, stay tuned. Right now, I'm headed up to Boulder, Colorado, actually, uh, about an hour and a half away from where I live, Fort Morgan, Colorado, which is cows and corn, Colorado. That's what I like to call it because when people think Colorado, they think literally mountains and skiing and shit, but I don't know if I have the eyes. Like I said, I don't know how to use this camera too much, but if you check it out, I mean, it's really hard to see, but there's like nothing out here, right? I'll eventually learn how to, how to uh, <laughs> change all this up. Are we still good? Still good. All right, see, I'm so new to running this camera. I'll get better over time. Like I said, practice makes perfect. But yeah, uh, I gotta put my phone, my camera down because right now I'm holding it in my hands, as you can tell, uh, which is a little di little dangerous for me to drive like that. But I do, however, have this like mount that I was supposed to put up on my windshield. But I was running out of time and have to hurry to go get my hair cut. So once I get my hair cut, I'll mount that up and we'll talk a little bit on the way back. I'll probably buy some supplements. And yeah, just discuss on why it's been taking me so long to get this vlog started. Just procrastination, you know, that'll kill you. But we'll go into more depth about that here in a minute. So for me, it's gonna be about another hour or two before you see, before I see you. But for you, it's gonna be here in this next clip. Stay tuned. how nasty it is outside. Damn. Can you guys tell how bad it is? Look at that. Check this out. What the hell? Just 30 minutes away, welcome to Colorado. Downpouring here. Beautiful. <laughs> Back there. <laughs> Sheesh. All right, so this is a uh, Supplement Giant. I didn't actually go to Disc Colorado Discount Nutrition. I kind of spaced it. I don't know why I brought myself here, but this is still a really good one. Um, I'll show you what I got. Let's see if you can see it. So pretty pretty basic stuff. You know, some creatine. He he talked me into this one. I've never taken it before. But the creatine I did have was uh, Creatine HTL by Beyond Raw. And I just felt like it tasted like, uh, like, vitamin c too much so yeah i want to switch from it because i just feel like that's wrong i've never tasted creatine it tastes like vitamin sweet c so we'll try that one and then also i got this bum obviously you got to go with the thavage protein right <laughs> uh sebum stuff i i go back and forth from this um the one that i do have at the house is not this right now that i've been taking over the last month but uh they didn't have that one here so this is this is what we got I got my haircut, I got my supplements. As I was recording on the way over here from the haircut, the lights changed and I looked really bright. So we're gonna do it again. An hour and 11 minutes away from home. All right. So, yep, I got my haircut. Hopefully it looks good. Um, what my YouTube channel is gonna be about. So right now, as I'm vlogging, 
I'm natural. As of two weeks ago, I got on a SARM that my doctor gave me, which was uh, MK677. But uh, that's just been two weeks. So technically I'm, I'm not natural, but I'm natural, right? I'm not taking any roids. So over the next four to six weeks, uh, up until my next blood draw, I'm going to only be doing this MK677. And if you watched my last YouTube video, uh, my doctor wanted to put me on methyl, methylene B vitamins, like a B complex. And she swears up and down that that's supposed to like correct my system because my just my testosterone's crashed, my estrogen's crashed, everything's out of whack. And we've been trying to get it on track for like the last three to four years. And she's been doing her best to keep me off of testosterone these last three to four years, which I looked really good. I did some SARMs, like I've been natural for since my since the heart attack age 25, but I did some SARMs for my competition about two years ago and I got stupid nutty looking. Let's see if I can show you on the camera. That was me on SARMs, right? Like for my competition, like that doesn't look natural. It does not look natural at all. And uh, I think I look good there. So that's like, it, comp it makes me comp like, it makes me wonder, should I, should I get hop on or should I not? You know, like, should I try just being natural with SARMs, SARM natural? <laughs> SARM natural, SARM natural. You know, should I try just sticking to SARMs and not risk my life since I had a heart attack? Or do I just say fuck it and just try it one more time? Because like I've been wanting to for the past four years and like if, what's life living if you're not doing what you want, right? I just want to look nutty again one more time. Like that looked nutty, but it took a lot of work to get there and a lot of strict dieting for like five to six months straight. And I don't know, just a lot of work. And I'm, I'm cool to do the work, but it's not sustainable and it's not as easy. And I could just look so much better. You know, if I ever wanted to do like, be an IFBB pro, I would have to hop on anyways. There's just no way almost that I could become one without it. Um, but yeah, so my YouTube channel is going to be about, uh, my progress that I make, my natty gains up until the next six, seven weeks until I hop on or however long it is. Um, and then when I do hop on, I'll be getting my blood work done too then and kind of just showing you guys what that's looking like, what my blood work's doing as I'm taking gear as a heart attack patient because they say once you have a heart attack, you're more prone to having another one. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, but I don't think it will. I'll be doing stuff the smart way now because back in the day, when I was doing steroids, I started at like the age of 17, early 17, right? Uh, and it just kind of progressed from there more and more and more. But I was doing it wrong. I wasn't eating right. I wasn't getting my blood work done. I was blocking my estrogen to keep my gyno down for years straight. Like everything you possibly could go do wrong, I was doing it wrong. So yeah, it's time to do things right and see how that goes. This gloomy weather is getting to me. Yeah, I'm just gonna do things right and uh, vlog it. If you watch, you watch. If you don't, you don't. But it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun for me. It's gonna be something that I'm gonna be doing for myself and just kind of documenting my my progress as I go with life. And maybe it'll kind of make it like a, a diary in between that progress too, talking about my drug addiction that I had and the stories that I went along with it and how I almost died a few times and got murdered. Um, my, my time in jail and all those cool stories, cool fun stories. Uh, maybe talk about my OnlyFans experience because I do do OnlyFans. I don't know for how long I'm gonna be doing it for, but I still, I've been doing it for like the last three years. It was supposed to be like a three month thing and done. It's three years later, I'm still doing it, still making good money. So I'll talk to you about all the fetishes and experiences that I've witnessed on that, which is gonna be a fun video. I just gotta document everything, right? Um, more so for myself to look back on 
Also, I'm gonna be becoming a dad. I'm gonna become a dad here in like two months. My my baby's due on April 9th. So that dad life is gonna be a whole nother ball game to probably document and maybe help other upcoming dads know what to expect. Uh, my, I'm gonna guess, the reason why, 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 what motivated me to start this YouTube channel is the fact that I'm probably gonna be hopping back on steroids. And, uh, and the fact that I had a heart attack, right? I think I'm just ahead of the curve here and I feel like steroids are blast so much on the internet now that all these young teenage kids are getting on it like I did and here in about five years there's gonna be people just dropping on heart attacks either dropping dead or dropping down through a heart attack bam 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 and guess who's gonna be ahead of the curve now me I'm gonna be able to be the one that's on YouTube talking about it so all you guys that just had a heart attack can go back and see oh this guy had one let me see how he's handling it and what his experiences were because I thought my life was over right I thought it was done once I had that heart attack I thought it was my lifting career not my life but my lifting career and everything that I enjoyed doing I thought that was over which is not you can still push yourself and push your boundaries you just gotta be extra careful right uh, a little bit more smart about it so yeah just stay tuned with that hopefully the camera's not changing colors too much but you know I'm a newbie, yeah, I'm a beginner, I have no idea how to tell. Also, I don't have the camera where like the screen flips out where I can see myself. All I can see is the lens right now, so I'm just guess, guessing it, uh, guesstimating that it's gonna be all right. <laughs> but yeah, I was just contemplating on starting this YouTube channel up forever because I was always trying to find the right time to do it, right? day one or one day well this is day one I'm just gonna get it done if it doesn't come out the smoothest or the cleanest that's so be it it doesn't practice makes perfect if I have to get a different camera eventually then I'll get a different camera um, but I just want to document like I said so long story short I'm just documenting my life I'm vlogging it I've got a pretty interesting one and I want to share it with you guys and share it with the world and yeah just kind of go from there so I will, uh, other than that, there's not really too much to talk about right now. Uh, I do need your help, however, if you are watching this, if you are interested in my life, if you want to subscribe and keep watching, please leave comments down below. You know, give me some ideas. What should my next YouTube video be about? What should I talk about? If, I, if you have questions about certain things, you know, like what I'm eating to gain 20, 30 pounds naturally in two or three months. Uh, clean weight too, not just fucking shitloads of fat. Um, should also maybe ask me about like what you know. Just give me some ideas. Just give me some ideas. Give me some love comments. Give me some hate comments. What should I? What should I talk about? You know, what should I do better? Uh, if if this camera is not doing well with like the ISO or aperture or whatever it is, then give me some pointers on that. <laughs> If this is hard to hear, maybe give me some pointers on that. I don't know. Just give me some ideas. I'm gonna need all the help I can get to continue this YouTube channel out, but I'll be sticking to the basics, you know, and just recording myself, talk a little bit this day, go work out, show you my workout. Today's gonna be chest and shoulders. Like I said, you know, it'll be fun to show you my routine and how I got the physique I do have naturally. Uh, after so many years of having a heart attack. And then, yeah, maybe just spit some game. It's all practice, it's all for fun. But, all right, I'm going to shut you off and I'll see you guys at the gym. Peace. Like, look where I'm from. This is from, this is cows and corn, Colorado. Like, you, People expect there's mountains in colorful Colorado, but no, you get into like the Nebraska look and have a whole hell of a lot of nothing. This is where I was born and raised. Fun, fun times. All right, so I'm gonna run you through a quick ritual that I usually do. You know, you have to have the pre, 
pre workout, which is, you know, Christopher's secret stuff, of course. I kind of bounce back and forth between pre workouts and everything else, but um, I never go over like 170 grams of pre workout because of my heart attack. So, what's one scoop of this? Uh, 150. So like, yeah, 150 plus 64, you know, some, I mean, 150, 150 milligrams of caffeine. Plus I get two scoops of HMB. HMB helps support muscle growth. I do two scoops before, two scoops after. I'm just giving you a quick little rundown of what I do. Uh, I'll probably post on another video later down the road, maybe next time, or I don't know. We'll guess, but I'll uh, make another video about what supplements I actually take throughout the day and why. But yeah, so here's my pre-workout, two scoops H and B, one scoop pre. So that's a given, gotta have some, gotta have some caffeine or it's just too hard to get anything done. But, and then I don't have a spring bar, gotta have a spring. But depending on the day, if it's a leg day, back day, chest day, which today's chest is depending on how much carbion I use, just powdered carbs. But for chest day, I go pretty light. I go like quarter scoop. Nothing major, because I still eat a Rice crispy. So I go a quarter scoop carbion, and then I go this full scoop, heaping scoop of aminos. Just a nice hefty scoop. Boom. And that's what I'll sip on throughout the workout. Keep me pumped, keep me refreshed, help me recover, etc. So there's that. Do you not have my water? Yeah, I do. Let me grab my water. My buddy's probably already at the gym cussing me out. We're supposed to be there at 4.30 and it's 4.32. That's all right, it's my first day filming, you know, by myself. So I have to get used to the timing and setting shit up and seeing how it all goes, which is not too bad yet. By the way, I filled this one up to the brim, my carbion, because that shit gets thick. All right, shake that up right away or else you start clumping and you don't want clumps in your shit. And then we'll throw a little bit of pre, a little bit of water in the pre. I don't go pretty heavy on the pre with water because people just dry scoop that normally, you know, about half, see. But HMB, if you do decide to ever try the HMB, uh, shit tastes like pill water. So like if, if, if you crush up a pill and you chewed on it, that's what that would taste like. So I recommend mixing it with something that's flavored or just prepare yourself because it tastes like shit. This is my this is my before pump. We'll see how I look after, huh? By the way, I'm not super tall. I'm just in a very short place. So I'll see you at the gym. I just took. So we start out with some five, five warm-up sets. I'm moving on to an upper chest press. This is our third set, second working set. Shoot with the Chest day, I go like, probably only like 20, 20 grams? 15, 15, 20 grams, yeah. That's it? Yeah. It's not very much. No. When did you start drinking that so shit? Well, like if I go to, if I have like a lake day, then it's like 50. If it's like a back day, then it's like 25, 30. You notice the difference in doing that shit? I love it. <laughs> Two more. Come on. Slow so control. All right, so I'm gonna have my buddy. I got, got a lot of weight on here, so I'm gonna have my buddy help me do some negatives. All right, three, 
two, up. <clears throat> don't let the hump all the way down. A little less. A little less. Two more. <laughs> well, this is a nice, nice little drop set. Stretch your chest, squeeze the chest. Finish. This is always. It's that upper chest. That's what we gotta get developed. Ever been to work, dude? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Lifting some medium ass weight, bro? Hell no. Whew. Oh, that's light. I love when my shoulders don't fit. Oh yeah. Two. We got it. Strong ones. Fucking easy money, bud. Do I look pumped yet? You guys look pumped, dude. Big you look arms. Good. Hey, you look fucking good. So what we do, we did four sets of this. Yeah. Well, three and then a, a drop set of a kind of just like good, nice, good stretch and squeeze. Yeah. Let me go high with this one. See what this looks like for my camera dies.